welcome to the 100th podcast episode. You heard me, 100. I have done 100 of these. You have listened to 100. I hope you've listened to all 100. If you've listened to all 100, I fucking love you. But this is podcast 100. If you're watching on YouTube, you can see I have this beautiful cake in front of me. I made this. If you want to see me making this, um, go watch it on Instagram because... um, yeah, it's not the prettiest thing, but it's orange and that's all that matters. And there's a hundred on the top. And yeah, I'm so grateful that you are here. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being a part of the podcast. I'll do a quick wish. Um, and my wish is that this podcast gets out to as many women that need it, that need help with their confidence, with their self-love, with their worthiness. That's my wish. <sighs> I said in my Instagram one, I was like, and if um, Lizzo and Jake Hall could come on the podcast also, that's my wish also. <laughs> what would I even say? Like, hey, <laughs> hey guys. Um, so yeah, thank you. Welcome to this week's podcast episode. I have something really exciting on this podcast episode, but um, I just, I what a one thing I always tell you guys to do is to give it up to yourselves to celebrate yourselves. Why am I get I always get emotional. Like I always tell you guys to celebrate yourselves and everything that you do. And I want to take the moment to just acknowledge and to celebrate myself, right? A hundred podcast episodes. That's not an easy thing because if you look up the stats of how many people get actually to a hundred podcasts, I think it's like, I it was a very low percent, less than 10%. I think it was like one or 2%. It was really low. So I want to celebrate myself and acknowledge myself for the consistency, for continuing to show up. Um, it honestly helps that you guys are here. Like my my mission and wanting to help the Polynesian community, just women, is I'm so on fire for it that that's the reason I show up every week. And this um, podcast stemmed from me just wanting to share stories, share things that I've learned, you know, and help others and, you know, bring amazing guests on who have done incredible things that inspire others. Because for a long time, I didn't see people who look like me doing these kinds of things. So I was like, yo, I'm going to be it, right? So, um, yeah, this podcast means the world to me. I know it's helped so many. And the other week, actually, at an event, one of the girls came up to me and she was telling me that how much the podcast has helped her. Um, and that's that's what it's all about. She even shared with me, like, this was the first time someone's told her that she is worthy. Like, nobody told her that shit growing up. And I feel that because I didn't get that either, right? So I'm like, this is exactly what it's for. I want you to know that you are worthy. I want you to know or learn from all the things that I've learned and help you live a better life and live the life of your dreams and all the things, right? So I want to thank you so much. I acknowledge and thank myself for getting, you know, to this place of a hundred podcast episodes. We need to celebrate everything we do. So I'm celebrating myself so hard. I want to say thank you so much to you. Thank you for listening. This podcast wouldn't be fucking still going if it wasn't for you listening. So thank you so much. And also thank you to all the podcast guests who have come on. I love you so much. Thank you for blessing us. And actually, that's my little surprise this week because the guests have come back they have been so kind to record some love some lovely lovely videos that I'm gonna play to you if you're watching on YouTube you'll see their faces if you're on the podcast you'll just hear them but I reached out to them because I really wanted to make an episode where you guys can come to maybe if you're feeling down if you're going through something hard if you're doing something hard and you want to give up or you're scared or anything like that I wanted this episode to be the one you came to for like that pep talk like that encouragement like keep going sis like we got you you know we're here like we're here for you keep going and um I had in my mind if you know J. Cole I love J. Cole he has the audio hug right so this is our audio hug from me and my beautiful guests um to you guys please enjoy so I'm gonna let you go Ariana plus size from W-A-A-A-A-A I just want to say a big congratulations to the sis Alicia for 100 episodes on your podcast and if you haven't listened to it already you'll need to jump in it's my audio hug for you self-love one love yourself the way you love on others we're so quick and easy to hype people up and even strangers we don't know on the internet But if you put that love into yourself, that's an amazing start, girl. Two, you are worthy of all the good things you want in your life. 
You're the CEO, you're the author of your own journey. So just remember that, girl. And three, it's okay. It's okay not to be okay. It's okay to take the day. It's okay to step back. It's okay just to chill for a bit. It's okay not to be okay. And we're here for you, girl. So check out all the episodes within the 100 Episodes podcast. So tell lover, thank you for having me on your podcast. Signing out, your girl, Ariana Plus Size. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so the quote that I absolutely live by, and if you haven't heard it before, then you're going to hear it today, and it is four down seven times, get up eight, and this has been literally my quote ever since I have begun this whole journey of self-development, confidence, and um, just really diving deep into myself and my self-worth, self-love. And the reason why I live by that quote four, seven times, get up eight, is because we're always going to be going through life challenges, storms, humps and bumps along the road. And, you know, that's just life. But the number one thing is don't stay down when you fall. Do not even, don't, that's not even an option. When you fall, don't quit on yourself because when you quit on yourself, you're quitting on your your loved ones, you're quitting on the people that support you, you're quitting on your child, your baby, your children, your partner. So that's why I love that quote because it's like no matter how many times you fall, you just got to keep on keeping on. Got to get up, show up for yourself every single day because that's all that matters. When you show up day by day, even if it's just 1%, then that's all. That's all you got. That's all you can give. That is more than you think. 1% every day. Let's break it down. Hi, my name's Talita and Kia ora. Um, I am so excited to be a part of the 100th episode. And I just want to share um, a little piece of advice um, for myself so a little bit of context um you know there's a saying that goes around if you're moldy for calendar or raised in a very community like um culture is around it takes um, a village to raise a child and i thought oh you know unconsciously i only thought it applied for when i was younger but now i realize like no it it fully applies when i'm an adult and I really, it looks different having a village as you're an adult, but I really encourage you, especially if you're developing in your career or you want to pursue a dream or you want to do something that you've never seen before um, or you want to do something specifically for your community and you don't know where to start, that um, your village has your back, but it also does look really different in different scenarios in your life and give yourself permission to be okay with that. Um, also around having a village, give yourself permission um, to let people help you. I think that's another big thing that I've learned to do um, recently. For example, my partner and I have been um, bombarded with an unexpected health issue where he has cancer and I've had to really let like my village in and also the village looks different because, you know, we've got a cancer care team, a part of our village today. Um, and there are people who are going to be with us in that pocket of being the care team for the rest of our life or every six months after his surgery. So I don't know if that makes sense, but just because you become an adult doesn't mean you lose your village and also it looks really different when you're an adult, um, but really embrace it. But also if you're a Pacific Islander and a Maori woman and you want to pursue something in your career, um, whether it's to be a leader, to be a CEO, to start a business, to, or just take up space in a very, you know, influential area, take up that space. We need you. We want you. Um, I am, you know, I'm in management at a bank. I model and I content create very small, but I wanted to fill the gap that I couldn't see when I was younger. Um, I wanted to see more Modi and Pacific Islander women 
on you know billboards on the internet on the website so I could see myself in the clothes in fashion in beauty and now I get to play in that space and I am really proud of myself but it wouldn't be without a village and yeah, I just really encourage you guys, if you feel really down, you feel like you can't do it, you can. And if you feel like you don't have a village, remember the village can look really different. I've got a cancer team who is with us. I've got people who I didn't know would love me at a big capacity who love me now in this season of my life. And that's what my village looks like now. And so, yeah, be open to things looking different and... Believe in yourself because there are so many people who believe in you. Yeah. I just wanted to say a huge congratulations, Leash, on reaching your 100th episode for your podcast. What a huge accomplishment that is. I wanted to just let you know how proud I am of you. Your hard work is starting to pay off. And I'm so excited to see what the future holds for you. And one piece of advice that I wanted to share is the most important relationship you will ever have is with yourself. I think a lot of the time we can get caught up in relationships with partners or relationships with friends that we forget about the relationship we have with ourselves and how we view ourselves. We will be spending the rest of our lives with ourselves. I think it's very important that you become comfortable within yourself. This advice is something I teach my children, especially at the age where they're exploring friendships and at school. I always teach them that the most important relationship is that they will have with themselves. So knowing who they are and being content and you know what your likes and dislikes are without the influence of others or people around you. Hope this message reaches that person that needed to hear it. I hope you're giving yourself enough grace and loving on yourself because you will be spending the rest of your life with yourself. So I hope that you can show yourself the same amount of love that you show your loved ones because you are important. Hello beautiful people. Today I wanted to talk about something that touches each and every one of us. Journey of loving our beauty and embracing every stage of our life. Life is a series of stages, each with its own beauty, each with its own significance, each with its own trials and tribulations, and each with its own blessings. Our childhood, from our youth, to our adulthood, up to our golden years, we are always going to experience some form of trials, tribulations, blessings, and everything in between. And each stage always, always, always will have its own unique significance in our lives. We live in a world that often tells us that we need to look a certain way to be beautiful, but that is not the case at all. True beauty isn't about fitting into a mold. It's about embracing who we are at every single moment of our life. It's about celebrating our unique features, the features that we have passed down from our ancestors, from the people who loved us, who loved them. We have been passed down through a whole line of love, celebrating our scars, stretch marks, anywhere on your body to celebrating every single thing about yourself and all the things that tell our story. Loving our beauty means loving ourselves at every single stage of our life. Beauty means appreciating ourselves just as who, just as we are. It means looking in the mirror and not just seeing our reflection staring back. It's the love, it's the beauty, it's the talent, it's the knowledge, it's the experiences and it is seeing everything that has brought us here today brought us to who we are today. Loving our beauty means appreciating ourselves just as who we are. It's about being kind to ourselves. It's acknowledging that perfection is just an illusion and understanding that our imperfections make us real raw in who we are. As we move through different stages of our lives, it really is essential to honor each one of them. Whether we're navigating the uncertainties of youth, the responsibilities of adulthood, each phase has its own beauty and its own significance. Embrace the changes, they are signs that we're growing and they are signs that we have lived a life, we've learned and learned some lessons. So let us celebrate in all forms, honour your past, kiss a goodbye, love and leave it, it is in the past and now we just need to focus on moving forward. Live fully in the present moment and look forward to your future with confidence and with joy. Your true beauty truly shines from within you and this truly reflects the love and acceptance that we are willing to give to ourselves at every single stage of our life. I love you all so much. You are so beautiful. <laughs>
I am going to talk about something that was really difficult for me to deal with. Um, it was the loss of one of my close friends, Jill Mayer. Hmm, this is hard. I haven't even, I haven't really spoken about this publicly um, too much, but I can see how it changed my whole life. Jill Mayer was uh, killed a few years back, around 2012. And uh, the way that she was taken from us was so painful and so dramatic and public that um, it really changed my life. And I don't think you, I don't, you, you know, I read somewhere that grief is just love that has nowhere to go. And I truly believe that there, um, we're always kind of in, in grief in some way. Taking a real deep dive into my life and it was a full reel of my life. Like everything changed. Um, I really needed to ask myself if everything that was surrounding me and everything that I was a part of was really adding value to my life. And I spent a good amount of time alone. Um, just tuning into my body and really truly understanding and asking myself what I what I really needed in life um, and what I really wanted with this life. I think grief can bring up so much for us. It can trigger us and when we're in spaces of high sensitivity or times of really high sensitivity, it's very easy to um, project our and to blame and to um, you know push that grief onto others where for me I got to a point where I needed to take it inwards and deeply deeply reflect on where I wanted to go with my life so through it all I realized the importance of not letting these emotions sit in my body uh, feeling them uh, witnessing them being aware of them but also letting them pass through, um, honoring them when they came up, but not getting stuck in the mental, uh, yeah, not giving in to the, um, to the full intensity of it, crying when I needed to cry, not pushing it deep down inside me and then using the movement, the exercise, and the words to to write it out also learning just to be softer on myself with my language um and knowing that you know when things weren't going very well up here it was a time for me not to push through to actually just rest and and reflect and make space make space make va make some space for the mana and the um alofa to come through and just remember that it's because i love my friend that i feel like this Aisha, uh congratulations on your 100th um podcast Yay. what an amazing achievement um so some advice that we share i think for me it's um something that i've learned um and i have to remind myself is patience and gratitude so being patient as in knowing that we are doing the work and we'll get there get to the end result um and gratitude thinking about what we've achieved so far and it could just be little things like um being your own boss because uh, for you know for, for years you'll be dreaming about it and now finally being in it um yeah i think that's it for um, I guess for me, um, again, congratulations on your 100th episode. What an amazing achievement. We're so proud of you. Um, but for me, my piece of advice and something that I get asked a lot is um, how do you avoid um, procrastination, um, manage your time? Um, what I would say is ask yourself the question is um, what are you avoiding? So what are the fears that are coming up for you? Because if you had the confidence to achieve those tasks you would do it so um just know that procrastination and avoiding tasks is really just a sign of saying that you are 
scared of something, which is so normal, it's very human to feel scared to show up, do things like this. Um, but if we can tackle and overcome it, we can tackle those tasks that you had in mind. Okay. That's what I would say. Happy 100th episode. We're so, so proud of you, and we can't wait to see the 200th, the 300th, the <laughs> thousandth, and the millionth. Yeah. Um, we're there for you, cheering on every step of the way. Kia ora, my name is Tekahu Kura Boynton and I'm the founder of Māori Millionaire and I am on a mission to empower as many whānau as I can to take control of their finances. Today I want to give you a little bit of a pep talk because I know that finances are not just about money, it's not just a numbers game. Being good with your money involves all different aspects of our lives. It involves us to commit physically to doing the work that we need to do in order to reach the goals that we want to reach. It involves like literally committing our minds and our mindset to having success, to being able to grow abundance. It involves our um, energy to be an energy of success and in order to push through all of the obstacles, all of the barriers that are going to come up because there will be many, there will be lots because you cannot expect to achieve success if you do not have to do anything. If you don't have to actually try, if you don't have to go through obstacles, if you don't have to go through anything difficult in life, then how can you say that you want to achieve success? Because in order to achieve success, there is a cost and it's about whether or not you are willing to pay the price of success. It's going to be hard. There there are going to be days where you feel like giving up. There are going to be other people in your life who tell you to give up. There are going to be negative situations that come up. There are going to be challenges that come up. But the real thing is, is that when you get to new levels, when you achieve new stages in your life, new level, new devil, things come up, things happen. But this is just the cost of success and you are more than willing, more than able to achieve that. But it starts with your mind. If you believe that you can do it, you'll be able to. If you believe that you are not going to be able to achieve it, then you're not. You're really not. You have to believe in yourself and you have to believe in your powers and your abilities to be able to get you there. And I want to ask you something. How many times have you been able to push through, been able to overcome a hard time in your life, an obstacle? Because I know there have been many. There have been so many different times that you've been able to push through, that you have been able to uh, level up, you've been able to do the hard things that mean that you're able to achieve what you want to achieve. And it's been difficult, I know, but you, you were able to do it. You did it. And I'm so, so proud of you. So today I want to encourage you to keep pushing, keep trying. You can do this. Ka kite. Hope you all have a beautiful day. Oh, yeah, my advice will be for those that are going through hard times, um, going through your own adversity is, um, you know, those times will pass. And you yeah, try and focus on the things you can control and and just have a good mindset and always stay positive. How do you stay positive? Um how do, how do I stay positive? You know, by knowing that it happened and it is what it is and just try and look at the positives out of the situation and which is you get to relax yeah <laughs> and you get to try and do the things you like to do at the, uh, on your spare time doing that spare time so yeah oh is that are we talking about injuries yeah you, well you can because that's what yeah that's injuries. well yeah that's so. that's the situation I'm going on for at the moment so yeah that's what helped me Staying positive and just focusing on the things that I can control and better days ahead. Nice. Any more advice, even if it's not about injuries or anything? Um, if it's what you really want, you got to do whatever it takes to get it. Oh, that's a good one. Oh my goodness, how beautiful are those incredible women and Mets as well. It was so lovely to get Mets back on, the only male who's on the been on the podcast. But it wouldn't be right. I wanted to finish off with my two cents and I want to talk about consistency. That's my audio hug from me to you. Um, consistency, it's so, so important, right? How many people have started a podcast but haven't even reached 100 episodes, right? Because they didn't keep showing 
leveling up. And sometimes we don't get that uh, gratification straight away. We don't see the results straight away. So a lot of the times people give up because they don't see instant results. And it's like results over time. Like let's start getting used to waiting a little bit to see the results. Little one percenters every day. Get one percent better every single day. You're on the right track. You're getting there, right? Keep going. So today, if you feel like nothing's working, you've seen no progress, and all the things, please keep on going, sis. Please just, yeah, it's so worth it to keep on going. And if you're fucking feeling shit, if you've only got 40% today, but that you gave 40%, you actually gave 100%. So keep showing up, keep staying consistent with whatever you're doing, your goals and dreams, just consistent. One small step every single day because your results will, they will pay off. Keep showing up, show up for you, show up for your why. Why are you doing this? The reason and why I do this podcast is for women like you, women who need help with their confidence, their self-love, their worthiness. I always think when there's moments and don't get me wrong, there are moments where I'm like, fuck, I'm going like I'm going through it at the moment. I can't be fucked to do a podcast episode or feeling not feeling right or I had fucking tech issues the other week I had tech issues um and it was two o'clock in the morning on a Tuesday morning podcast comes out at 5 a.m right I'm having tech issues I've got like the next day I've got so many things to do and stuff I'm tired as fuck it's like I'm in the worst mood ever but I remembered my people and there's actually there's four people every morning when I wake up and I check who's like that the podcast's up and everything there's always four people who have listened to the podcast and those are the people I thought about. It's like those four people who show up every week for me to listen to the podcast episodes, I'll be letting them down. Like I've got to show up for those four people, right? They're going to wake up and not have a podcast episode. Like show up for them. What's your why? What's the reason you're doing that? What's the reason you're going for that goal and dream? Whatever it is you're doing in life. Why you do you keep trying to do that job, pursue that job? Why do you keep trying to do the thing that you're doing, right? Think about your why. Think about who misses out if you don't show up every day, whether it's your fucking community, whether it's your kids, your parents, your family members, your friends, whether it's your damn self, who gives, who fucking loses? You lose when you don't give up, when you don't show up for yourself, you fucking lose. Consistency wins. Please keep showing up for yourself. Please don't give up. Keep fucking trying. Keep going. You got this, sis. Keep showing up. Keep trying. That's how you get what you want in life. You keep showing up. You keep staying consistent. You keep fucking going. That's how you get your results. So keep going, sis. And don't get me wrong, sometimes you might need to take a break. But take the break and then keep going. Don't give up. Take a little break. Have a little pit stop, re-energize, fuel yourself up, and then keep going. Consistency wins this, so keep staying consistent in your life. And I can't thank you enough for being here. Thank you for consistently showing up for me every fucking week. I am trying to organize something where I can give back to you guys. Um, so stay tuned for that. I was hoping it would be by this 100th episode, but so many other things have been happening and it just it didn't fall in line. But I I will stay consistent. I will keep trying to get this out to you guys, right? So, um, yeah, there's a lot going on, but that's the 100th podcast episode. I hope you love it as much as I do. And please keep coming back when you need those pep talks, when you need somebody to fucking be in your corner for a few seconds. We're here for you. Keep fucking going. I love you so much. Thank you. See you next week. Ka kite. Koikia. Also, do you guys want some cake? I got a whole cake. I hope it tastes nice. It smells good.